there, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today I want to show you one of my bug out bags, or bags. It's digital camera, camo, just like my uniform. It's a Molly 2. Come closer. It's a Molly 2 uh, camo bag. Digital, of course. And I want to show you my contents, what I have in it, and uh, what's in it, what I like to have in it. Remember, everybody's different. All right. On the outside, I have a gift that Tom gave me. Tom Clipwood, Chipwood. He gave me a nice little more. And I want to take everything, and I have a little flashlight. I always notice every bag I got, I got some type of flashlight on the outside. Where was a little pocket knife and a knife? Over here I have a saw. Maybe come down some so you can see the stuff I'm taking out. Over here I have 550 cord, about 20 feet. Emergency blanket. Over here I have my C, my pest control. I got my cordage. I have one of my, I got cut. Covered, this is part of the covered system. All right, let's go on the other side. All right, we have over here. It is my container. Gas for cook and a cooking stove. In my cooking stove, I have and this is for my gas stove and a lighter. This is the MR M MSR. I'm sorry, MSR cook kit. Now in the front of my bag, I have my bush chair. Comes in black or green. Now, the bottom case. And here I have my cupboard. My fleece, I think I got two of them. Yeah, I got two of them. Two bangs of fleece. This bag here contains all my food rations. I got more food than anything. Then up front, I have my tarp. Some fat wood, or fat lighter. It was a gift from, um, yeah. A multi tool and some uh, for the tarp or whatever I need. And this is a small bag and it's empty now. This is all the stuff I had in it. I just wanted to show you one of my bug out bags or one of my bags I usually use to go camping with. So I hope you enjoy this. This is also a video for the handicapper to show them the bag I got here. And I forgot I have uh, belts for my hammock here. Yeah. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. A little fat wood, a multi tool. Come on, let's take a look at that multi tool. There you go. Then it has a uh, little flip levers here, a flathead, screwdriver. What the hell is that? I've never seen this before. 
Oh, pair of heavy duty scissors. <laughs> I've never seen it folded up like that before. And this, uh, on this side, I have a knife, a screwdriver, and a little flathead deal, and a pair of pliers. Multi tools is good to have sometimes because you never know when you're going to need that extra leverage to grab stuff. Come on, work. Get you, boy. There you go. Now, putting all this stuff together to make, make something out of it. This is the lightest bag I ever had. Usually the other bags I have is like a ton. Because I carry, I like to carry extra crap I don't need. I don't know why. But this is what I usually carry. I got my food pouch up front. Let's, take, let's put all of it back together. Okay, I got this freaking 10 by 20, 30 by 40, whatever. Tarp. I should get a stuff bag so if it gets wet, I can stuff it in my bag while it's eating me all. Oh yeah, I got one more pocket here. Right here is a poncho. I can cover myself and my whole bag with this one poncho. I'm ready to make another bug out bag, but I don't know what I'm gonna put. I'm trying to make a bigger bug out bag and an inch bag. I'm never coming home. All right, I got my food pouch in front. This gives the weight very well. For me, remember, everybody's different. Everybody wants to. I, I don't see no difference in where the weight needs to go. Me and Rumpy are supposed to do a test to see. Does it really matter where you put your gear at to make it more easy to carry? Yes, y'all are going to say, oh, put all the weight to the bottom, all the heavy stuff to the bottom. Yes, yes, I know that. So, it's only a trial and error, y'all, to figure out stuff. And this goes in my food ration bag here. Then at the bottom, I put back. This is a waterproof bag. Come look at me. You're not looking at me. Damn it, boy. This is a waterproof thing, but the top is kind of messed up. I need to make a new top for it. And what I do, I just stuff my blanket in there. Why you got so hot uh, blankets, Ranger? Because, well, I get cold at night, so I, I like to keep warm. The grumpy, he freezes. I mean, he burns up. Me and him went camping. You'll see some videos with that. Down! Stubborn bastards. And I stiff motor blanket. This is the smallest bag I ever had. Of good stuff. You should see the other bag. I might give you a, a bag of you of all my bug out bags or camping bag. This is supposed to be my car bag. Car camping camping bag because it has less items in it that I don't need. I'm noticing a lot of stuff I don't use in my other bag, so I'm trying to narrow it down to smaller bag all right that stuff's in here like a scar stitch there you go one scar stitch then i put my hammock the uh, net hammock on top of that but I remember i had something else in there oh well uh, i'll figure it out later Now over here is my cook kit, so I stuffed my cook kit back into its little container. 
and it's with cups. Look, it's the green cups society. this bag with all the mollies all right I'll put my uh, just in case it gets cold I have something my mercy blanket goes there and my bug kit the, the bug kit is pretty awesome you need to get one of these I guarantee you, you the bugs will fly away that's all you do is put your insert of the thing turn it and, and light it And I have my refills. And this is cute little box. Ah, I forget the spoon. Damn you, boy. All right. No problem. It's easy to get to. Is a little spoon. It looks like it's been cut. <laughs> now, paracord goes with the tarp. That's all I do is stuff my tarp into the top thing. put the rest of my stuff up before I close the top bag and my little saw that I might need one day when I go car camping right there. my more knife I got from Tom Clitwood Chitwood or whoever you say that damn name and voila snip it clip it done it Tighten up your belts. Oh, damn you, boy. I forgot something again. I forgot the bush chair. This keeps hammers down. You could also open this and put this in your hammock. You can sit on it and have back support. You old age. All right, oh, let's see, uh, that goes like this. Mm -hmm. That goes down and slips and clips. All right, all right, I'm Ranger Kooky. I hope you enjoy my short bag. This opening and closing my bags. This is to show you what's in my bag. So this is going to be a tag. Uh, what's in your bag, handicapper? I want to see what's in your bag. And that's about it, because I don't know about anybody else who has a bag or they what they use for camping. So show me what you use for camping. I'm curious. All right, I'm Ranger Kimmy. You've been tagged to do a video, what's in your bag. Basically, you're going to show me what's in your bag or what you use to go camping with. Oh, let me show you something. Let me show you something. The best way to put on your bag is this way. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere in the woods and you got no table like this. Place your bag on the ground facing towards you, the back facing away. Open your straps, grab inside, over your head. Damn, I'm almost threw this sucker across the road and slide it down. Clip, clap your straps in to better support yourself.
All right. I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoy this short video. Of what's in my bag of the new bag? My uh, car capping bag. I'm gonna see if I can use it and not use it. Last time I brought it, I didn't use it. So I'm kind of fed up. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use the next video with me and the crappie if we go out again. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next video.